Harry Dale, an Ontario reader, sends the words of this old shingle mill song as one requested by a New Brunswick inquirer. The sender, who is over 70 years of age, recalls it as a favorite 50 years ago. Come, all kind friends and parents, come brothers one and all, if you will listen unto me, it will make your blood run cold. It's of a poor, unfortunate boy who was known both far and near. His parents raised him tenderly not many miles from here. It was in the township of Arcade in the county of Lapeer. There stands a little shingle mill, been run about one year. It was there this cruel deed was done, caused many to weep and wail. It was there this young man lost his life, and his name was Harry Dale. It seems his occupation was a sawyer in the mill. He followed it successfully two years for months until his time had come for him to go and leave this world of care. God knows how soon it will be up. God knows how soon it will be your doom to follow him up there. On the 24th day of April in the year of 79, he went to work as usual, no fear did he design. But the lowering of his feed bar threw the carriage into gear, which drew him up against the saw and cut him so severe. It cut him through the shoulder blade and halfway down the back. They drew him out upon the floor as the carriage it ran back. He started for the shanty, but his strength had failed him fast. He said, My boys are wounded, and I fear it is the last. His brothers they were sent for, likewise his sisters too. The doctor came to dress his wounds, but alas, it was too true. And then, when his fatal wounds were dressed, he unto them did say, I know there is no hope for me, I soon shall pass away. No father had poor Harry to watch beside his bed, no kind and gentle mother to soothe his aching head. He lingered on one day and night till death did ease his pain. Hushed was his voice forever, he ne'er will speak again. They laid him in his coffin and fitted him for this his grave. His brothers, how they mourned the loss of a brother so brave. They took him to the churchyard and laid him down to rest. His body now lies moldering, but his spirits with the blessed.